Hey everyone, this is Unit 3, Module 2, Session 3 homework. Um, as always, please try these as many as you can and uh, pause the video and then maybe use the video to check your work or if you get stuck then use it just kind of for some help and then pause it as soon as you think you get it and try the next one. Uh, so this homework starts off with these uh, models of fractions and so they want you to fill in the missing decimal uh, the fraction equivalent or shade. Um, sometimes it's more than just one of the things. In fact, I think it's always at least two things. So let's just start it. So the first one, you need to figure out how many squares are shaded. And if you look at it um, closely, um, I can break this into four equal pieces. And what I can do is I can take like this triangle and I can put it up here. And now that's that whole triangle. So this whole thing's filled in. Okay. And let's just take this one and let's put it up here in that blank spot. Now this whole thing is filled in. So I think the decimal is uh, five tenths or half, uh, 50 hundredths, uh, 50 to the hundred are, are filled in. And then the fraction equivalent would either be. Uh, five tenths or fifty hundredths. I guess I should probably say also one half, right? All right, let's do the next one. Remember, if you think you got it, then then pause it. You're basically counting the shaded squares, and there's a hundred of them there, so you can make a fraction out of there. So I'm not going to try and. I think I know how many there are: two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, and I believe it's the same on the other side. So I know it's out of 100. So 20 over 100, we have 2 over 10, and then we also have 1 fifth. Um, these two are pretty important to me. In fact, this one is the most important, the 2 over 10, because 2 tenths is just 2 tenths, yeah? All right, let's keep going. Um, you're going to shade in um, 0.5, 5 tenths. So I'm going to write 5 tenths, 5 tenths. And I'm going to go sideways, horizontal, because that's how my pin works pretty well. Um, so if there were 10 sections sideways, I'm going to color in five of them. Two, three, four, five. So I colored in half. Um, so I should probably put equals equals one half. Uh, let's do the next one. So now they say 70 hundred. So I could color by one, like one, two, that's going to take a while. I know there's 10 here, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. Wouldn't be nice to color that fast. Um, and the decimal is I could do 70 hundredths which is the same as seven tenths. All right, let's keep going. Pause it if you think you got it. And especially with the comparing, try a couple of them and see. And then unpause and see how you did. So as I look at these, I'm gonna try and make them the same, um, that have the same number of digits. So like, so I'm gonna attach zeros as necessary. So this first one is 6.0. I'm just gonna put a zero on there, attach a zero. So now I can tell that it's equal, okay? Um, the next one has the same length or, or same number of digits. So I'm gonna go out through the first two are five and five tenths, right? So let's go to the next one, 5.51, 5.54, this one's bigger. Therefore I'm gonna put the um, less than symbol because the first one is less than. Next one, let's attach a zero here. And if we look at our decimal, that's four hundredths, that's 40 hundredths. Same thing, 13 and four hundredths is less than 13 and 40 hundredths. Uh, D, if you haven't stopped it, make sure you stop it and just try and try it on your own. Okay, see what you can get on this next one. So on D, it looks the same all the way until the hundredths. And that's uh, 32 and 13 hundredths. This is 32 and uh, 10 hundredths. Uh, this one's kind of weird. No, I think I started to overthink it. 
13 and 32 and 13 hundredths is definitely bigger, right? So it's a greater than symbol. Let's look at this next one. Um, it looks like you just have to go to the tenths. 10 and 1 tenth is definitely bigger. So I put a less than symbol. All right, let's keep going. So this is that chart. It's kind of like we did in class the other day. Um, they give you some hint. They give you a hint here. And you always start back with the original number. Okay, don't use the rounded number that you do. It's kind of weird. So you're always going to go back to this number. So if I want to round that one to the nearest hole, um, I'm just going to look at the tenth spot. I don't like how I did that. I want to round it to the nearest hole. And so I look here. Since that's a zero, I keep the number the same. They say round down. So round to the nearest hole is zero. Now let's change that. Now I want to round to the nearest tenth. So I'm looking at there, and I look at that four. And that four is um, less than five. So it's going to be zero. And I'm going to put 0, 0.0 because I want people to know I looked all the way to the tenths. Actually, I looked at the hundredths and I couldn't round it at all. So now I'll erase that. And now I want the nearest hundredth. So I want it to be either 0 0.4 or 0 0.5. I look at this 8. Since it's bigger than a 5, 5 or bigger, 0 0.05. That 8 rounds this 4 up. Okay. All right, let's keep going. So nearest hole, or nearest one. So it's gonna be 14 or 15. I'm gonna look at that nine. That nine is five or greater. So it's gonna push that 14 to a 15. Oops, I wrote that backwards. Um, if I look at the next one, this one's kind of a weird one. So I go back to the original. And so it's gonna be 14.9 or 14, I can't do 14.10, so it's going to be 14.9, or it's going to round up to 15.0. And that's a 6. So it's going to round to 15 and 0 tenths. Weird, right? All right, let's look at the last one. 14.96 or 14.97. I look at the 4. I only look at the 4. Okay, and so it's 14.96. All right, let's keep going. Nearest one for the seven. There's a zero over there, so it's going to be seven. Um, if I want the nearest tenth, I look at the six. It's five or more. So it's not seven. It's either 7.0 or 7.1. So it's 7.1, 7 and 1, 7 1 tenth. Um, and then the next one, we're going to look at this. And so I'm going to look at the number next to it. And since that's a five, I'm going to round it up. And so it's going to be seven and seven hundredths. All right, last one of these. 194. So it's 194 or 195. Those are only two options. Since that's a one right there, I'm going to go 194. And then as I keep going, it's going to be 194.1 or 194.2. Well, there's a two right there, so that's less than five. So we're not going to run it up. We're going to run it down. 194 and one tenth, and then lastly, um, I'm gonna round here, but I'm gonna look at that four, and that's less than five, so I'm not running that up either. So twelve hundredths. All right. Hopefully you pause that one. I didn't remind you several times to pause it. That rounding is kind of weird. That table. You always go back to the original number. All right. Seven. Complete the table below to show each fraction as a decimal and each decimal as a fraction. So for this one, you're going to, well, let's just see. I know about my fourths, right? There's four quarters and a dollar. So I know three fourths is 0 0.75. Um, and I'm gonna do, there's no simplifying a decimal. Uh, so I'm gonna leave it at that. Uh, if I look at the next one, and I, I'd love for you to try all these. Um, if I look at the next one, 20 hundredths is the same as 20 hundredths. So that's your fraction. But that's the same as, I mean, that's exactly 20 hundredths. But it's equivalent to or same as 2 tenths, which is equivalent to or the same as 1 fifth. All right, D, 3 hundredths. 
So I need the hundredths place value. So there's my three hundredths. Uh, 72 hundredths for next one. If I just read that properly, it tells me the fraction, right? And then the decimal for the last one, six tenths. What tells me I need a six in the tenth section? All right. Just the last one. This is the last one. Okay. So Riley collected rain for several weeks in a rain gauge. He collected one and 48 hundredths inches the first week, half that much the second week, and one inch the third week. How much more rain will likely need, will likely, will Riley need to collect before he has five inches? So let's, let's look at this problem pretty close. Let's have some time. Okay, it looks like there's three numbers. Uh, first week, and then we have second week, and then we have the third week, and then we'll figure out what we have from there, okay? Because it needs five inches total. So first week, one and 48, in, one and 48 hundredths of an inch. Second week, half of that, right? So um, half of 1.48, well, I can just, well, let's do this. Let's take half of one, one divided by two, and then we have 0.48 divided by two. Oops, that line shouldn't be there. Divided by two. And then we'll just add those numbers together, right? So one divided by two is 0 0.5, one half. Uh, 248 divided by 2 is 24. And so the total for that day or that week was 74 hundredths. 0.74. They said the third week and one inch the third week. So that's just one. They want to know how much more until they until Riley's collected five inches. So first we got to do is add this all up, right? No time. I do. So let's add these up. Um, one, I'm just going to line them up. And then I'll put my one over here. Plus those. Um, two, one, and now that's another two. Carry the one. Bring that decimal straight down. All right? So it's three and 22 hundredths. So I believe I take that number from five, five minus three and 22 hundredths. Um, so there's a few things we can do. We could do this just algorithm if you want to, or we can add up, that might be easier. Like I know what I need to add to get to four. Um, I'm gonna do that. I think I should, I have some time for it. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna start at three and 20 or three and 22 hundredths of an inch and I need to get to five. So the very first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to try and get to four. And to get to four, I'm going to add not 80 because it'll go over. I'm going to go 78 hundredths. And then to get from four to five, I'm going to add one whole. So I believe the answer is Riley needs to collect one and 78 hundredths of an inch. That's how much Riley needs. I'd love for you to check my work on that. All right, guys, make sure you bring in any questions for me. Um, I'd be more than happy to work with you and answer them. All right, take care, guys.